In this video, we will discuss the critical attributes, in other words, the characteristics that describe similar or that define similarity. I want you to pause and think about what it means when we say that two things are similar. What do you mean when you say that two things are similar? Think about that for a minute. Take a look at this picture here. Um, we might say, oops, we might say that the two people over here look similar. It means that they look the same. They're not exactly the same, but they look the same. Um, these two trees right here look similar. They're not exactly the same, but they look similar. These two peppers here look uh, the same. They're not the same, but they are similar. So um, what does it mean to be for figures to be similar? Another example that might come to your mind is Wonder Woman. Clearly, Wonder Woman and Mrs. Howard are also similar. What does it mean for um, objects or shapes to be similar? Well, in math, we have a very two very specific vocabulary words that we use when we're describing uh, two shapes or two objects. These two turtles, we would say, are congruent. They are exactly the same. But these two turtles are not congruent. They're not exactly the same. This one's small and this one's large. We call these similar. Same is congruent. Um, close to being the same is similar. So now let's talk about the critical attributes that define similarity. What do I mean by critical attributes? An attribute is a characteristic. Critical means that it's important. So the critical attributes are the important characteristics that define similarity. Critical attributes, the characteristics that define similarity. Well, the first thing is that figures have to be the same shape. Uh, we cannot say that this triangle is similar to this rectangle because they're not even the same shape. But we could say that this right triangle is similar to this right triangle because they are the same shape. So number one, defining characteristic or um, a critical attribute for similar figures is that they have to be the same shape. Uh, number two, congruent corresponding angles. Well, we talked about corresponding earlier, and you know that corresponding means the same position. So congruent corresponding angles would mean that the angles that are in the same position have to be the same measure. So we can see that here, um, angle A corresponds to angle D, and they are congruent. They are both 90 degrees. They're in the same position, and they have the same measurement. Angle B and angle E um, have the same position and they are congruent. And angle C and angle F are in the same position and they are also congruent, both at 45 degrees. So the second characteristic or defining um, character, uh, critical attribute is congruent corresponding angles. And then lastly, proportional corresponding sides. So corresponding again, same position, so we can see that side AB and side DE are corresponding. So we need to see that um, 3 to 6 has the same, is the same proportion as BC to EF as 5 to 10. And is that true? Is it true that 3 6 equals 5 tenths? Well, if you think about it, 3 6 is 1 half, and 5 tenths, oops, 5 tenths is also 1 half, so these sides are um, proportional. Another way to look at it would be, um, let's check the other sides, uh, 3 to 6, how do we get from 3 to 6? We multiply by 2. How do we get from 4 to 8? We multiply by 2. How do we get from 5 to 10? We multiply by 2. So um, our sides are proportional because we are multiplying by the same 
scale factor, and we'll talk about scale factor later. We're multiplying by the same number. Think about it also as 10 to 5. What do we multiply 10 by to get down to 5? We multiply 10 by half. We can multiply um, 6 by 1 half to get 3, and we can multiply 8 by 1 half to get 4. So basically, um, now that I've written all over this, this triangle is half the size of this triangle, or this triangle is twice the size of the, the smaller triangle. So that was your last defined characteristic. Proportional sides must, uh, corresponding sides must be proportional. So now um, you need to complete the whisk uh, for this video, and you need to make sure that you explain the meaning of similarity. What does it mean when two shapes are similar? Remember, it does not mean that they are exactly the same. Um, explain the meaning of critical attributes. What do we mean when we say critical attributes? List and explain those three critical attributes that define similarity. And I also want you to include some specific examples and details about how you can determine whether or not figures are similar.